Hi and welcome to John's Maths Book. In this video, we'll be exploring another key concept in mathematics. If you find this tutorial helpful, then please show your support by subscribing, liking and leaving a comment. Your positive engagement helps me create more content and allows me to bring you more valuable maths lessons. Without further ado, let's go over to the whiteboard. Let's look at how we find the area between two curves given only the equation of each curve. The diagram of the board shows two curves and the red shaded region is the area we want to calculate. The equation of each curve is shown. We have y equals minus x squared plus 2 and y equals x squared. The first step in finding the area of the red region is to find the x coordinates of where the two curves intersect. To do this, we can equate the two equations and find the values of x at the points of intersection. Equating the two equations gives x squared is equal to minus x squared plus 2. Adding x squared to both sides of the equation gives 2x squared is equal to 2. Dividing both sides of the equation by 2 gives x squared is equal to 1. It follows that x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1, and therefore x is equal to plus or minus 1. Now let's look at each of the curves in turn between the limits of x equals minus 1 and x equals 1. So for y equals minus x squared plus 2, the area between x equals minus 1 and x equals 1, and under the curve, is shown by the blue shaded region. And for y equals x squared, the area between x equals minus 1 and x equals 1, and under the curve, is shown by the green shaded region. If we now subtract the area of the green shaded region from the area of the blue shaded region, we'll find the area between the curves shown by the red shaded region. So let's start by finding the area of the blue shaded region. To do this, we can integrate the function y equals minus x squared plus 2 between the limits of x equals minus 1 and x equals 1. The antiderivative of this is minus x cubed divided by 3 plus 2x. And we need to evaluate this between x equals minus 1 and x equals 1. If we now plug the limits of integration into the antiderivative, we have minus one third plus two and minus into the bracket of a third minus two and evaluating this gives 10 divided by three and similarly to find the area shaded in green we can integrate the function y equals x squared between x equals minus one and x equals one the antiderivative of this is x cubed divided by three which we need to evaluate between x equals minus 1 and x equals 1. And plug in the limits of integration into the antiderivative, we have 1 third minus minus 1 third, which is equal to 2 thirds. And so the area of the red shaded region is the area of the blue shaded region, which we've calculated as 10 divided by 3, minus the area of the green shaded region, which we've calculated as two thirds. And so the area of the red shaded region is equal to eight divided by three. And this is our final answer.